when this. Hi, today we are looking at group seven and the halogens. So the main halogens you need to know about are iodine, a grey solid at room temperature, bromine, an orange liquid at room temperature, and chlorine, a greeny yellow gas at room temperature. And note that chlorine is extremely toxic. So we'll have a look at the group in the periodic table. So group seven, as we go down this group, they become less reactive. Their boiling and melting points increase. Why, I hear you ask. So let's have a look at their electron structure. Here we have fluorine, two on the first shell, seven on the outer shell. Chlorine, two on the first shell, eight on the next shell, seven on its outer shell. Both of these elements want to gain an extra electron to become a minus one charge. But as we go down the group, the last shell is getting further and further from the nucleus, making it really difficult to gain an extra electron. This reaction shows the displacement between a reactive metal and a less reactive metal. So, how do the halogens displace each other and what does this mean? Well, it means a more reactive halogen like fluorine or chlorine would displace a less reactive halogen like bromine or iodine or acetine from a solution. Think of it like this. Once upon a time, Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were Hollywood's number one couple until Miss Angelina Jolie came along. Let's pretend that Angie, Angelina Jolie is a more reactive halogen. She pushed out Jennifer Aniston and took her place. Leaving poor Jennifer Aniston alone. This is just like displacement of the halogens. Let's look at this equation. Here's our solution of potassium bromide. What would happen if we add it to chlorine? Well, chlorine is a more reactive halogen, therefore would displace the bromine from solution. What would be, we be left with at the other side? So, we would still have our potassium, but instead of being attached to the bromine, it would now be attached to the chlorine, leaving bromine all by itself just like Miss Jennifer Aniston. This is displacement.